guys, it's so hard. Hi everyone, so I took the past few days and I've been cleaning and organizing my craft room. I wanted to share the process with you of starting to use this space again. Um, for a while I just was sort of using this space as a place to put like thrift store finds and, and garage sale finds that I would then film haul videos for but um, I was just struggling to film those videos and so this just sort of became a space of like things that I would film in the future. So I started organizing everything um, and Get, like sort of creating a plan for me to be able to film those haul videos and I hope to do some DIYs with those items as well um, And yeah, so I just wanted to share with you right now what the craft room looks like. It's been a process um, You know part of the reason why I wasn't you know filming haul videos and things like that was just because it was so overwhelming for me it was just like such a, a monumental task that I just couldn't even think about working on. As many of you know, I'm struggling with severe obsessive compulsive disorder and part of what I struggle with, um, I feel like I should put the camera down and just sort of do like a, a little chat time with you guys. So I just set my camera down and I would like to talk with you all a little bit more about how the craft room um, just got as disorganized as it was. So um, like I said, many of you know that I have been struggling with severe obsessive compulsive disorder and I've been sharing on Instagram and here on YouTube um, just the different ways that I struggle with obsessive compulsive disorder. Another thing that I struggle with with my obsessive compulsive disorder is knowing when things are actually trash and when they're not. So that's part of it is knowing that I'm not accidentally throwing away something that I'm that I need to be keeping. For some reason in my mind I need to keep that and the craft room started collecting a lot of that kind of stuff. I sort of started like keeping things that I that were actually trash and I I understand that they're trash now um, you know I'm, I'm trying to help myself understand that they're trash now um, but you know the craft room sort of became a spot for me to collect that kind of stuff so it was making me feel really discouraged to come in here and see um, you know the the disorganization and everything but also like the trash that I was keeping that wasn't actually things that I needed to keep. I was really struggling with cleaning up this space and sort of dealing with those things that I was really nervous to deal with. Um, and sorry if you hear anything, Finley's right at my feet. It's a process, you know. I've been in, and I've been getting help for my obsessive compulsive disorder. It's maybe been like a year and a half or so that I've been getting help for my obsessive compulsive disorder. And something that I'm learning is to be kind to myself during the process. If something feels too hard on a particular day, instead of making myself do that specific project or, you know, clean a certain room or work on something, I will give myself permission to not work on that at that particular moment. And when I have the strength to be able to work on that, that's when I go through and, you know, work on those really difficult projects or whatever I'm struggling with at the moment. So like, I was, you know, collecting these items to do DIYs with in different projects with, but I didn't have a space to be able to finish the projects in. If you've been watching any of my recent crafting videos, you probably have seen that I haven't been crafting in the craft room and the main reason was there just wasn't any room in here for me to be able to do that. And I needed to get this space, you know, clean enough and organized enough to be able to use it. And um, I just, I'm sorry. I just didn't have the strength for a long time to be able to do this, but I did. I finally did. It's pretty clean and organized right now. I'm sorry, it's okay, Finn. Oh, he just jumped up on my lap. It's okay, I'm okay. I was just struggling with even opening the door to this room and um, I finally felt like I had the strength to work on this project earlier this week and I took about a week to get everything done. I'm proud of myself that I was able to do that and I, I gave myself time and I didn't pressure myself into 
finishing it all in one day. I just took my time and I was respectful to how I was feeling. All of that to say the craft room is clean and I can start crafting in it again. Just feels like it's been a long time since I've been able to work in here and feel, and, and feel comfortable in here. And I'm just so proud of myself that it's done and I can start crafting in here again. And I'm so proud of myself for that. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Guys, it's so hard. <laughs> Sorry, I had to stop for a second because I was getting really upset. Um, but it's done. I'm back in here again. And I'm just proud of myself for not giving up and trying my hardest and... Um, there's still more I would like to do. I think what my focus is going to be is to work on the projects that I've been wanting to work on for so long. If you've been following my channel for a while, you know that I love to go to the thrift store and the Dollar Tree, and I love to find items that inspire me. I love to find different things at the thrift store or different things at the Dollar Tree that I can turn into pieces of home decor or organization, and I often share with you that I would like to do a DIY with the items. And recently, I've been struggling with sharing the DIYs that I want to do. It's been hard for me because in my mind, completing a DIY meant that I had to work on the craft room in terms of making it something that I could use um, and it was just you know disorganized and as you saw you know to the point where I couldn't even walk in here so doing the DIY in my mind was it was like a mountain that I couldn't climb so I think what I'm going to focus on is doing as many DIYs as I can um, maybe even sitting and looking at what I have here in the craft room and just making a list of all of those DIYs that I've wanted to to try to complete um, and I think that's just what I'm going to focus on now is just crafting as much as I can so I think that's what I'm going to start focusing on is really working on different DIY projects and just having fun crafting. Um, I just recently found a serger machine at the thrift store, learning how to use that. You know, I also have like a, a machine, I found it several years ago at the thrift store, pretty much what you would use to like create a book. And I know a lot of my colleagues use that machine to make little notebooks of their students' work. Um, and I would like to learn how to use that so I can use that this coming school year. Um, so yeah, I think just, I think I'm going to focus on spending time working on all of the DIY projects that I've wanted to work on for so long, learning how to use all of the machines that I have. I did not expect to cry for so much of this video, um, but it's it's emotional, you know, to see sort of like my hard work pay off. So now I would like to turn the camera around and share with you what I was able to accomplish in the craft room. There are some spaces that I still need to work on, like that space. This has always been a space that I've struggled with. I will focus on that at a different point. Here's the desk all cleared off, which is really nice. I also have an item that I would like to do a DIY project with right here. It's just sitting there waiting for me to finish the project. I think it looks really nice and I'm really happy with how I was able to accomplish this project. And that's it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed seeing the process of how I was able to clean and organize and declutter this space. I'm so excited to be taking you all with me as I start working in this space again. In the comments below, let me know if there are any particular projects that you would like to see me work on, like if you'd like to see me learn how to use the serger or continue to learn how to sew, let me know in the comments below if there are any particular crafting projects you would like to see. Please check out my blog at thriftedlivingblog.com. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram at thriftedliving and if you don't have an Instagram but would like to stay up to date with what I'm doing, you can follow me on Facebook at thriftedlivingpage. Please like, subscribe, and share. Thank you so much for watching. Bye!